Welcome back to the rig review and this time I'm going to take a look at Brook. Who is Brook? Well, if you go to the Look Rig site, you can see it is opening special 20% off and you have also cute little artwork for the characters, which is cool. But you can go to the shop and you can go to assets and I'm going to take a look at Brook. There's a link in the description for Selena and I'm going to do afterwards Dawn so you have all three reviewed and you can buy them all at the same time if you want to as a bundle. Now, disclaimer, I received these for free for review purposes. So my gushing of the rigs is only because I love them, not because I got them for free. They are really absolutely amazing. So now I'm gonna take a look at Brook. Now, if you do this, the first thing you're gonna see, this is the look of it. You change the color management off and then that's the look. And as with Selena, what you have here is you have this in your folder when you get the rigs and you can change the texture path. So I was looking at Selena first. I'm gonna change this to Brook and say set texture path. Now you're gonna go, well, nothing happens. You have to click on this, the visibility icon back there or that little controller. And in here you have proxy. So if I move this around here, you can see that is a proxy model and it's very, very fast. So once you change it to that, it's a lot faster. So obviously the look changes. Then you come back to normal. Then you can go to render depending on your render mode and then texture. And this is what happens when you have texture. So you have textures on, off and also color management gets very dark turn this back on and now you have fantastic looking textures all the detail look at that the stubble the suit the belt everything is very very cool and again if you turn this off go back to normal it's going to look like this so texturing on and off makes no difference there but your color management is going to make a difference so you can see here it's much more simple it's still very cool but just in case you like that look, you can add that. So I'm gonna go back and do textures just because I love it and turn this back on. All right, that is down here. You also have all of your visibility on, off, on, off. Then you have this controller, which is your super root controller. Now, a lot of these, if not all of them, have the extra control here. So you can move this around. So by selecting this one, you have that but you can select the other one and then you have another one, which I'm a big fan of because at work we have kind of a rig structure where we don't really use, I mean, I don't really use that many animation layers because we have every controller has an extra node for tweaks or whatever you want to do. So I'm a big fan of this setup where everything has an extra controller. It's absolutely fantastic. Go to the main one. You have your layout control and you have your tracker control. Interestingly named, but these are all extra nodes for you to do things and uh, have more options, which is very, very cool. Then let's go to the feet. So as always, you have a foot box and you can move this around. This is all very cool. And you can see what the knee is doing. This is just information like that. If you want the knee, the knee to move, the me, the knee to move, you have that. Now, just like with Selena, these are all built the same way. So if you grab this, you can actually scale and do all kinds of banana stuff. And you have your controls for your foot roll here and you have your toe control here. Now, if you select this, again, you have stretch, Let me go back up here, leg stretch options, and they come with a nice squash and stretch. You have a knee stretch, you have ankle stretch. You also have a knee slide for the position here. You have the ankle rotation and you have the ankle break. Of course, I'm gonna select these all just because they're all having these controls here. So you have all of that if you want to, and you have your space switching as well. And again, all of these have that extra control as you can see. And there's also the pivot, just like with Selena, you have the pivot control. So if you have your foot here and you do this, you can use this one to pivot off here, but you can move it and now it pivots from all the way over there. So if you need very specific side pivots, even though technically you have a side roll that's like this, you can still change the pivot to something else if you want it to be like that and do a very specific pivot off of here. So again, lots of options, which I think are very, very cool. Going back here, this gives you the IK FK control. So this goes back into a, a regular FK control, but just because it's FK doesn't mean that you don't have squash and stretch, which is very cool. You have the space switching, of course, and this goes all the way down here. And of course you can scale. All of these have scale, the extra control and the stretch control, which is fantastic. Select this again, and you also have the foot scale if you want to, the ankle bend option here, 
and the ankle bends control. Again, everything has so many options. Same thing for this. So once you're here, you have a knee pin, which the elbow has as well, and extra controls, which is very, very cool. And then of course you have your bend bow. So in here you can move everything around, but bam, you have extra controls, absolutely bananas. You have your up twist if you need to. Let me go a bit closer here. You have your mid twist. You have your low twist. You have your squash as well, which also goes bananas. And this is for all of them, right? This goes all the way up here. And again, you can scale, you can rotate, and you can translate. Same thing here. You can scale, you can move this around, and you can change no rotation here. This is purely translate. Then we're getting up to the hip control. Hip control moves just the hip. There's nothing else that's happening in the chest, which is good. And you have scale options, of course, and extra control. Everything always has extra control. You have a belt option. This goes all the way back there. And even the belt has extra controls. Banana, as you can see here, belt controls everywhere. Then right there is the spine or lower IK control here, which again has, you can see this here, but has extra controls if you want to. And let me go back here and select it. You have scale options as well. You can completely remodel that rig if you really want to. Then again, same thing for the roots. You have extra, here, you can see it. Extra controls, moves the whole rig, and you can scale everything absolutely. Bananas, same thing here. You can go into that. You have squash options. I'm going crazy with all those options here. And then you also have your regular chest that you can rotate and move around like this or switch to fk just like the selena control there's every now and then probably something that i will skip or forgot but these all work the same way so you have extra controls for everything then up here that is the clavicle control where you have auto clavicle on or off and of course extra control so if i take my arm and i move it around you can see there is extra clavicle control right there so auto i mean not extra but auto but you can change that around then let's go on this side i'm gonna save the the best for later so in case you can't see anything this is the other control and this here you can move the shoulder in an ik fashion you have your bend bows of course all of these come with sub controls holy moly again you have all the twisty stuff the mid twist low twist and the squash maybe be careful with all of this you also have the auto twist and auto squash and sub controls like i said this goes all the way up forward here then you have the wrist so you can move the wrist around you can scale through the controller or let me go and start at the top you can change your stretchiness elbow stretch wrist stretch you have the elbow side where this happens to be which is very cool you have the arm twist just in case you don't like this option then you have your, all your spaces and you have extra control as well now if you go up here you have your ikfk you have the arm scale whoa this is always so finicky and kind of again so you can scale the arm like this or you can grab this here and scale it like that if you want you have fist option you have curl you have relax which is very cool i like this and you have your spread, just the fingers and the master spread. And of course you have all of this on the fingers as well. So you grab the separate controllers and you can rotate this around if you want. All the fingers have a stretchy option. They all have extra controllers. And of course you can scale and move them around however you want to, absolutely better, I love it. All these up here have separate controls for your finger curl and all that spread, all that is there separately if you want to as well, of course. Then going back here, you go to FK, and then you have your FK control, all your standard stuff. And on here, you got the stretch, of course, you have all the space switching, and of course, you can also scale this all separately, which is very cool. Going back to IK, you have, and you move this around, as so many rigs do, the hand stays put. So even though you have all of those options, you have the stretch, blah, 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 you have root control, hip control, spine and head this is all the orientation for the ik hand so if i take my root and i move this it's ik but if i say well i want this to be part of the root grab the root and now it's part of the root what's missing though and that's pretty much every rig out there is that i would love an option that when you take that hand and you move it around that the wrist actually stays put aligned with the forearm so you don't have to constantly counter and do those extra steps and i have not seen any 
this is, these are just uh, visibility things. I haven't seen anything with the hand I checked. I potentially have missed something because this rig is really, really extensively detailed in terms of all the things you can do. Uh, but so far, I haven't found this. And again, all those separate options for uh, your hand. This is so absolutely bananas cool. I love it. Going back with the elbow, again, elbow pin, which is awesome. And you space switching. Then we go up to here and this would be your head. And the head is now where the head is like this. So you go up here and you do a uh, local world. And I say, no, I don't want this. I don't want this to be the world. So now it follows the head like that, just in case you need this. And as always, all of these have extra controls. Absolutely bananas. Then here you have the lower squashiness of the head. You have the IK, if I can select it, there you go. You have the extra option for the neck, which then you can also scale and you have all those twist options and, and uh, squash options. Again, you can completely reshape that character. I mean, even if you grab the jaw, you can go, or oh, 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 you can have this. You can absolutely remodel this whole character. It's absolutely bananas. Again, I love the extra squishiness in this, which you can turn off if you don't want that. It's very cool. I'm going to keep this open just a bit, just because I really like the the formation of those corners. If, if you do a smile, look at that beautiful line. This is absolutely fantastic. I love it. There's a, there's a certain max, of course. It's going to break the rig, but look at this line. It's so great. You have this for some fine tuning. You have some fine tuning in here as well. And if you grab this, you have a lip zoop, zoop pinching option. You have the pinching, I mean, that's the zipper. That's the pinching option. You have the puff and you have the crease here. You can see it's in the texture. If you want to do that in here, you have, like I said, the extra fine tuning control. Same thing here. This gives you also a, not super visible here. I should probably zoom in. You see the change and the curl and the rotation there. Then you have this overall movement of the mouth. And you have mouth ooh, the ooh option. You also have a ton of extra options if you really want to. Holy moly. Then you have this one up here where you can move just the upper part. But you can move this around like that if you want. You can shape it like this, which is awesome. And of course, you can scale if you want to. And you have lip roll for the whole thing. You have lip curl for the whole thing. You have the lip puff for the whole thing. And lip clench and thickness as well absolutely bananas which would i would assume selena has as well but i actually did not look at the lip thickness just know that all of these are set up pretty much the same way then you have the cheek moving the cheek around and you have a cheek puff as well can you scale yes of course you can scale do you want more controllers yes you can see this you have extra controls and details uh for the cheek and the upper region here, as you can see, all the things you can manipulate there. It's absolutely fantastic. Same thing with the nostrils. Move, scale, and flare. And if you select the top part, you have scale, of course. Move and rotate. And all of these are rotational, right? So if you do this, the whole thing is going to move. The whole thing is going to scale. And you can go all the way down the chain if you want changes there. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you want just a little bit of a curvature? You can select this. And you can see here, IK control turns on, that's this guy. And then you can do this. So if I do this, select this, select that, then you can start shaping your nose like that if you want to for whatever look. Which also means that you can move things around and reshape. I mean, you can take the whole thing and reshape it and, and move it down. I mean, you have many, many options to really remodel the whole character. It's absolutely fantastic. Then let's go to the eyebrows. You have the middle one here that moves everything. You can see the nice, folding there in the geometry of the texture so you can do this of course you can just do in and out with the channel eyebrow pull you have the fine tuning of this and of course you can always scale you have this for that whole upper part then you have this for the whole middle part and of course the outer part but you also have the whole thing just in case and you can move this whole thing you can translate rotate scale and all of these let me go back here have sub controls you can have absolutely a bananas amount of sub controls on the eyebrows just in case it's so cool going back here you have ears so as always scale translate rotate same thing here you can move this around you can 
move this around you can give him a ginormously big ear why not here you have your upper stretchiness you have your lower stretchiness deformation scale whatever you want to do and this goes all the way to the top where you have an overall boring squash and stretch where you of course you can change the amount just in case and that head control also has bam hair control so if you have this and go crazy just like all of this what else is like that uh, pretend that's okay you can change the hair like that you can go back and forth you can of course scale and give this guy a massive hairdo but if you don't like that right let me go back here or if i select just the hair again you can scale this down and you can give him a hairdo like this if you want it's very very interesting i love again all of those options going to the eye you have well let me zoom out here you have the general box whoops for the eye with the head control on off so depending on how the eyes should follow and you got the same thing here for the eyes you can translate and move them around which is very cool but if you want fine tuning you have this master controller here that moves everything the whole eye socket around it also gives you just a rotation for this to move this around and you can say uh do i want to squash or stretches yes or no and also extra eye controls here absolutely bananas then you go in here and that will give you the rotation of the eyeball but you can also say lid follow off and this will just be the eyeball if you want to the crazy town here is that you have iris size pupil size okay i get that but then you also have the squash and stretch of the pupil and the iris which is awesome also insane is that you have the eye highlight or the kicker so i can move this around and it rotates alongside the eye geometry which is awesome you can also move this out just in case for whatever reason then you also have of course the size of it if you want the eyeball to follow i say this off so now if i move this the kicker stays put depending on i guess where the light source is it's not just always on the light it's very very cool so lots of very very cool options now speaking of options this here will give you the blink bring these guys down and select both of them and you get the lid puff for whatever reason if you want to and sub controls for eyes if you want to absolutely fantastic there is no immediate option to just have a quick blink with the uh, hands here right you have the option to do a quick fist for instance it would have been cool to get a quick blink just for quick blocking that's always kind of useful and helpful but anyway you can go down here and you can move this around you can see this here how much gets moved in the uh, geometry and this is in one axis but you also have extra controls for that if you really want to and the same thing here you can reshape this extra control for that as well and for this as well sub controls like i showed you and even this one sub controls i mean it's absolutely bananas all the things you can do that is that now why did i not show you this well let me show you now you have bend bows of course and you have all the twistiness in the squash and stretch which i showed you before all that is standard stuff you have the fingers you can rotate all that good stuff everything is great extra controls but when i go here you have the option of a hand spring so first of all if i take this arm and it's in a stretchy function here you can see the squash and stretch very cool but it's one piece of geometry so i say mm, i want to change this look you go to hand spring bam, bam, and now you have a hand spring option of course you can do all kinds of things with this and you can scale and rotate you can do all kinds of stuff with that it's very very cool now the other option that you might have seen is when you look at this opening here that is the propeller so now you have a propeller so you can select this here and what you see is that you got your rotation of course but you can change the propeller size if you want to maybe this could just be something else you can animate some lasers coming out of there but why not and the propeller twist so in all of that still works with all of your rotations there very very cool i mean it's not just cool it's absolutely fantastic now going back here just like with selena this is really neat so if i move my character around and this is all in ik mode obviously this will happen because there's sticky iks there what you can do now you can turn you can select this and say air ik control bam on so now it's still in ik you can still move your arms around in, in regular ik but this would be good if your character is jumping and has to tumble around. 
or the character, for whatever reason, you add a backpack to this and the character has to fly. Then you have that here. Of course, you can use it here. You can do all kinds of things, but that is just one extra option there. I love this. And I believe that's it. This rig has so many options. I am afraid that I always miss something when I checked and triple checked and look at these before I recorded the review. But double check with the Selena review and I'm going to do the Dawn review after this. There are different options. So she has rollerblades. He has an arm here that can move out into the spring as you've seen. But the general setup of all of these rigs is the same. So all the functionalities that you see here with those options here, this, all the sub controls, the uh, scale option where you can do everything and completely re-sculpt the character if you really want to. You can give them all kinds of different, well, you can do this here, which might be a bit weird, but all on those separate controllers, you have A, just on the control, but also in the options here, all kinds of remodeling options. Very, very cool. That is the Brook rig again. There is a Selena rig available, and by the time I'm done uploading everything as well, there will be a Dawn rig. So all three will be there ready for you to check out. Link in the description. And if you want to check out more rigs, Animation Buffet has more rigs and more reviews. And of course, my channel has more animation related topics and lectures and goodies. So thank you for watching, and I will see you hopefully for my next review.